Functional skills, perimeter. So the first thing to remember is that perimeter is a word for the distance around the edge of a shape. And in this video, we will be looking at examples where we have to work out perimeters in a functional context. So we'll start with a simple example. We're told that Romeo has a pet snake. The snake can wrap its body around Romeo's coffee table exactly. How long is Romeo's snake? Now this word exactly tells you that the snake wraps around the table without overlapping itself and without leaving any gaps. So the length of the snake will be exactly the same as the perimeter of the table. So this is a perimeter question, even though it doesn't say so in the question. To work out this perimeter, we will need to add the lengths of all four sides of the table. So that's 1.3 plus 0 0.6, plus this length here, which will also be 1.3, plus this length here, which will also be 0 0.6. So I can do 1.3 plus 0 0.6 is 1.9. And because I have two lots of 1.9, I can either work out 1.9 plus 1.9 to get 3.8, or I could say it's 1.9 times 2, which is 3.8. So either way, my final answer is 3.8 meters. Now we'll do a slightly more challenging example. So here, Kevin is putting string lights around the edge of his patio. Each pack of lights will cover four meters. How many packs does he need? So first let's look at the patio here. To work out the perimeter, we will need the length and the width, but we're not actually given the width of the patio. We will need to work that out from the rest of the measurements in the garden. So as you can see, this length here is 5.4 meters. That means this length here will also be 5.4 meters. Now using this measurement, we can see that 5.4 meters plus this length will give 7.8 meters. So to work out this length here, we will need to do 7.8 minus 5.4. That tells us that the width of the patio is 2.4 meters. So now we have enough information to work out the perimeter of the patio, or the distance around the edge. So I've got 2.4 plus 8.3, which gives me 10.7. And then I'll have another 2.4 plus 8.3. So in total, I've got two lots of 10.7, which is 21.4 meters. Now that we know the total perimeter of the patio, we just need to work out how many packs of lights we need. So if I want to know how many lots of four meters are in 21.4 meters, I can do 21.4 divided by four. And that gives me an answer of 5.35. Now this will tell me the number of packs that Kevin needs. But in real life, you can't buy 5.35 packs, but you can buy five packs or six packs. Now, because 5.35 is more than 5, that means I'll need to round up to the next number of packs. So Kevin needs 6 packs. Here we have a slightly harder version of the same question. So Kevin is still putting string lights around the edge of the patio. The measurements of the patio are the same as before. So we've already worked out that the perimeter of this patio is 21.4 meters. But now the question contains an extra piece of information. So we are told that each pack of lights will cover 3.2 meters and cost seven pounds 20. And we need to work out how much Kevin will have to spend. Now the first thing to do is work out how many packs of lights Kevin will need. So remember you're going to need to use the fact that each pack covers 3.2 meters and we have 21.4 meters to cover in total. So pause the video now and work out how many packs of lights you will need. Press play when you're ready to check your answer. So let's check. The calculation you should have done is 21.4 divided by 3.2, which is 6.6875. That means that Kevin will need seven packs. 
So now we're almost done with the question. We know that seven packs of lights are needed. We also know that each pack costs seven pounds 20. Therefore, we need to work out seven times seven pounds 20. And that will tell us how much Kevin has to spend. So if you work this out on a calculator, you will get an answer of 50.4. Now, this would normally be correct, but because we are asked how much he is spending, that means our answer needs to be a price. So you would need to write down £50.40. So finally, to recap, what we've done is first find the perimeter of the patio, then divide by 3.2 to work out how many packs of lights. And remember, at this point, we rounded up to the next whole number because you can only buy a whole number of packs of lights. Then finally, when we knew how many packs we needed, we multiply it by the price per pack, and that gave us this final answer of 50 pounds and 40 pence.